Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Veteran Mountain Man and we did it. For those of you who have been paying attention to the national news, the Georgia district that was up for contest has been won by the Republicans. And despite more than $10 million being brought in from out, from mostly outside sources to fund the Democrat campaign in that district, and despite the fact that Trump only won by 1% in that district and the entire news media in this country was trying to make it out like this was going to be a Democrat win, we showed them that they cannot tell us what to do or who to vote for. Now, we can't allow ourselves to get complacent. Uh, this is an example of a push against authoritarianism on the mainstream media's part, as well as the Democrat Party's part. However, if we become complacent, they will beat us because they will get enough people out there. Remember, the left and the mainstream media primarily run off activism. And activism means that these people pay attention. They don't necessarily pay attention to the same message that you're getting because you're here with me, and I try to give you more information than just my opinion. However, whether you agree with me on that or not, I know that you're probably checking other sources, like I've told you to again and again and again. And if you are checking other sources, that means you get a different viewpoint than just mine. Well, these people don't do that. And that means that they tend to be very one-sided in how they vote. They would vote for a yellow dog if it had a D next to its name. They are yellow dog Democrats. Now, that is not a good thing or a bad... Well, I consider it a bad thing. Um... Some people consider it a good thing. It shows loyalty. But realistically, I think if you can't think about the candidate you're voting for, you just have to vote for them. You've already done the wrong thing and you know it. Still, we need to make sure that we keep up on these things. We need to make sure that we're paying attention to our local politics. You don't have to pay attention to international or even national politics all year round. But please, please, please pay attention to your local politics. Look at who's running locally for city council, for uh, transportation board, for school board, and try to find something out about them. Try to pay attention to their platform. I hate the fact that here in Oregon, it is a vote-by-mail system. And so people get these ballots, and they don't even know who's on them. In many cases, nothing has been talked about in the area about these people. They're not even signs up because it's against the CCRs of your homeowners association to put up signs. And so we end up with these blind elections. And I absolutely hate them. And when I see these blind elections, I, I get upset. And you know what? I'm trying to change that culture within my own area. But don't allow it to become the culture in your area. Pay attention. Get your kids to pay attention. Get the neighbor's kids to pay attention. Get your neighbors to pay attention. Get your friends to pay attention. Try to interact with them both on a non-political and a political level. And you don't have to discuss politics in depth, but, you know, try to at least make sure that they're paying attention, that they're awake. Because the last thing that we will do as a nation, as a liberty-loving nation, is vote away our freedoms. And once we do that, it's all done. We can't get it back. Because the second you agree to give up your freedom, it's gone. And it would require another bloody revolution to attempt to even get it back. And that's assuming we would succeed. Because the second we vote away our rights is the second they will start coming for those of us who are like me. Who would stand up and say no. And we're the first target. 
Well, thank you all again for joining me on this lovely day. If you're following me on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're checking me out on VidMe, please upvote and follow. Remember, I do answer comments both here and on mines. And I do have a Patreon. The link's down below. Thank you all again for joining me and have yourselves a great day.